today I have a Samsung TV power supply and this is the 65 inch TV power supply and you can see this is the very big okay and this power supply is not turning on and today I will fix this power supply and you can see this area okay and first of all I want to introduce some part of this power supply and here is a uh, this one is the primary power supply and this one is the secondary power supply and this is the main power supply okay this part work for the TV backlight okay you can see here is a okay high voltage generator and this is the main filter area and this is the main AC input area here is one STR and here is one IC and let's start the E and here is a two diode for this power supply here is another two diode for this power supply and here is a two MOSFET and this MOSFET also work like a diode okay, let's plug in and measure some voltage and today I will explain how it work also and when you work any power supply and always you use the series line this is for your safety okay check this input voltage here is a 230 voltage present and this one is the primary power supply this power supply will be output 5 volt and this is the diode for outputting and this one is the ground pin and you can see here is a no output okay no output and no input okay this voltage will be output with this pin but here is a no voltage present and let's see this area here is also no voltage here is also no voltage okay, unplug the power cable and check it here is any short circuit or not and this is the ground pin and no short circuit here is also no circuit but this one is showing short that is okay this one should be no short circuit no short no short okay here is a no short circuit okay check the input voltage AC input voltage here and this is the main filter voltage main DC voltage here is a no voltage present okay check the AC voltage here Here is 230 volts is present AC input but here is it not DC voltage I need to find out this voltage where it comes from and let's check it step by step and this is the AC voltage here is voltage present 234 after this come here and here here is 230 volts is present and this one is come this is okay here here this one is come here here and you can see this and this is the simple this pin here it comes with the super okay look at this circuit and this is the problem okay and you can see this here this is see here is a voltage and here is a voltage present and here is a voltage and here is a voltage and here is a voltage also present okay here is a voltage present and this pin will be work for this here and you can see here is a another leg of the rectifier bridge rectifier here is another leg of the bridge rectifier this voltage pass from this here okay here is a no voltage this voltage will come from this pin okay here is a voltage but this set has a no voltage present okay this voltage will be work for this rectifier and all over the circuit let's check it what is this and, and this one is the relay 5 volt relay and here is a relay coil and this set is the switching point okay and this switch will be pass 220 voltage 230 voltage from this pin to this pin okay let's see why this relay is not working and this is the relay and this two pin relay two pin is for switching the ac 220 voltage and this is the 5 volt for turning on the relay okay and this one and this one this pin 
and this is the relay for passing the 220 voltage from this here okay and this pin has a 220 voltage but here is no voltage present i am show this again and you can see this here here is a 236 voltage present but this set has a no voltage okay and this voltage go to the bridge rectifier okay and this line this line this line this line this line and here but here is no voltage present but this set has a voltage okay you can understand and firstly i need to turn on this relay why this relay is not working i need to find out 128 voltage is present but here is one voltage present and here should be present more voltage for turning on this and let's see what is this line 30 voltage present but here is a 120 voltage present and this point is for that this one okay here is the one thing is open and let's see this this one is broken this part is broken from this board and what is the number of this this part is separate from the circuit and this one is 15 ohms okay and 15.8 ohms showing and this one is broken from this circuit okay maybe that's why also this is not turning on and and you can see this here here is this hole is blocked by rust okay. yes our circuit is turned on and you can see this and this series it is series light is glown and it's become a load that's why it did this let's check it here some voltage i get or not and you can see here is a 5 voltage is present Finally, I am summarized the circuit and what was the problem and this is the AC input voltage and here is one rectifier and this rectifier and this voltage was the missing and that's why this power supply was not running and you can see here, here is one 5 volt relay and this is the 5 volt relay and this is the switch pin of the relay and here was the voltage, here was the voltage and but output pin was no voltage and that's why this rectifier was not getting any voltage and that's why the SMPS was not running okay this power supply was not running so is my power supply was not running and I got the problem from here and this here is another line this AC voltage and this AC voltage work for the 5 volt relay okay and this voltage was the missing and I got this fault of this parts and this is the thyristor resistor maybe and this was the rusting and broken the pin I just joined this to terminal and I reinstall this and it's working. Okay, bears. Thanks for watching.